Hey, Neil, this has been a different season with a different schedule and everything, but did you guys set goals, any team goals that you could share maybe at the start of the season after the schedule was revamped, um, just as far as what you want to see happen this season? Uh, I don't think there was any team goals. I think that we knew that um, we'd had a special team uh, back-to-back – seven six years there was uh, certain games that could have put us in position to have I guess a nine win season ten win seasons and stuff so we felt that with everyone coming back that we had the necessary tools to to have the special season that we're having uh, and that we hope that we can continue to have that said what what's at stake Friday for your guys in the BYU football program um I don't know if anything's at stake I just know that it's gonna be a big game uh, it'll be the first time that we have fans there, so we'll try to adjust to the environment there. But I think it's bigger than uh, we're probably uh, downplaying it. Uh, but I think that's the way we got to keep it. Just keep it as any other game. Um, go into it with the same mindset that we always have, and that's to go in there and to win. And uh, yeah, to come out with a W. Thanks. Mitch, go ahead. Yeah, Neil, uh, you know, Coach Grimes just said that he's looking for still some more consistency from you guys. Uh, how do you maybe assess where yourself and the wide receivers are at to this point of the season? Um, I think we've done pretty good. Uh, as you've seen in the past games, I think this will be our toughest competition so far yet. Uh, but I think we're up for the challenge. Um, we're just consistently trying to just get better, I think, as an offensive group. Um, be more in sync with Zach and Zach be more in sync with us. Um, and by game day, hopefully we're all, we're all ready by then, that we did the necessary steps throughout the week uh, to, to prepare ourselves to put us in position uh, to win. How, how has it been uh, as, a, as a group uh, offense to kind of see the accolades and maybe the attention that Zach and you guys are all getting, but specifically Zach and, and all the national attention he's getting? Um, I mean, he is the quarterback, so he's going to get all the hype uh that he's receiving i think last year he didn't receive any so it ebbs and flows um we knew again that we had a special team and what we could do uh so it's just cool just to see the recognition that we are getting but again uh with the tougher competition uh, as in this week and utsa what they provided last week um it'll be interesting to see how we uh come for this friday so it'll be an interesting matchup and what do you see from houston defensively do they and kind of remind you of any other teams that you faced in your career? Like, what stands out to them on film? Um, it'll be like any other team that I think we would have faced if the pandemic didn't happen. It would just be a lot of man-to-man -man press and um, some different cover four looks and stuff and what they're providing. But I think a lot of it will be man-to-man, -man and it'll be just to see whose will we'll, we'll break first and see uh, what we can do against man-to-man -man press. Jared, go ahead. Hey, Neil, I wanted to have you take me through that uh, that TD catch, fourth down play, back of the end zone. What's that moment like? I know you guys have put the last game in the rearview mirror, but what's that that moment like to make a play like that? Um, I think it was just a spark setter. We, I thought that maybe that we just needed one play, one play that could have sparked us. We never got into the groove of things as an offense with different penalties and a turnover by me, whatever it was. We just couldn't get in a flow. Um, I guess after that fumble that I had, I was glad that I was able to make up for it. Um, but it was just a spark setter. I thought that we could have done way better from last game. Hopefully uh, we can cut down on those mistakes that we had and get back in the groove that we were the previous game before UT UTSA. What does it take to get your feet down in a moment like that? I mean, the field awareness, what does it take to have that to, to be able to tap your toes like you did? I think it's just knowing where you're at on the field. Uh, I knew that uh, where I was, as you rever, as you rewind that play, I was open from the beginning. Zach went a different way, and then when he broke, I broke, and just trying to keep myself in position to where if he does throw it, that I can keep my feet down. Uh, I thought that it was one of those catches that I caught it, but he had pushed me out, so it was going to be incomplete. But I was uh, I was glad that I was able just to get my feet down and understand and know where I was at on the field.